So, welcome back to the shop. I have 10 of these parts to rough out uh, on the milling machine. They are stainless steel. They start out as a piece of flat stock. 20 by 10 millimeters in cross section and 68 millimeters long. And I need to rough out a channel into them about 50 millimeter wide and seven millimeters deep and I was looking into how to do this as as simple as possible and with as low as possible tool costs because tools are expensive but also keep um, the, the machine time to somewhat of a minimum. First I tried a 10 millimeter wide roughing end mill with the corn cob designed uh, serrated cutting edges and it didn't work at all because <clears throat> it pushed the part out of the vise because um, as I cut the channel um, the part uh, got pushed out of the vise because the section is not very stable. Then I changed to a 6 millimeter corn cob roughing end mill this worked better, but um, these are high-speed steel. Even if they are coated, you can't run them um, really long in stainless steel without coolant. And I want to do dry milling because it's more convenient. And then I tried something else. I took a, a cheap coated three flute carbide end mill with a, I think this uh, these are 45 degree he helix angle and I used it as it was a roughing end mill and it worked spectacular. I could take all the material out in three passes. I came down the center seven millimeter deep cut, went through, stepped over, came back stepped over, came back and done. Three passes to rough out this whole slot. With an end mill that's uh, I think these retail for 15 bucks each. So reasonable cost. And I can do it dry because it's carbide. Okay, as you can see I already made quite a mess. And uh, yeah the end mill is still holding up. I'm running it at 1000 RPM with a feed of about 40 millimeters per minute. That's quite slow, so I keep the chip very thin and uh, don't produce an awful lot of heat. And it allows me to go dry without any lubricant or coolant. Um, yeah, I'm just clamping the part in the vise and give it a go. Okay, 
there we go another one roughed out took no time at all the chips still are not getting much of a color so and part is also pretty it's hand warm um, uh, when I tried the six millimeter roughing end mill before it went it the machine run way more on the rough side tended to vibrate and chatter and the chips were packing up behind the cutting edge because the the chips from a roughing end mill are very short and very compact and they get pressed together these chips don't compact very well and uh, the flutes of the end mill pull them out of the slot you machined so in this case a normal end mill 45 degree helix angle works way better than the roughing end mill surprisingly so what I, what I wanted to show you with this video um, first of all how to make a, a mess and of course um, the obvious um, choice of an of a milling cutter is not not always the best this is normally a finishing tool but it works very well for roughing in this case uh, this is free machining stainless steel iso number for it uh, is 14305 it's a free machining um, stainless that's not supposed to be welded but it's still uh, stainless and doesn't rust very easy so <laughs> hope you enjoyed this very short video thank you for watching and see you next time